This man is nothing but damage to democracy. His idea of democracy is one dollar, one vote. He wants that kind of a setup everywhere where companies determine the future of countries and not the people. The man who broke the Bank of England. A man who is known and designated so by a nation as an economic war criminal has now pronounced his desire to break the Indian democracy. As you all know, George Soros an international entrepreneur who hedges bets against many a countries has now declared his ill intentions to intervene in the democratic processes of India. He wants that kind of a setup everywhere where companies determine the future of countries and not the people. It's one dollar, one vote, not one person, one vote. That is the system that suits him the best because then he can short sell and make money out of those inefficiencies in the system. Sir, Congress leader Jairam Ramesh also tweeted uh, regarding this. Yes, I saw his tweet. Uh, I hope he knows that when he was minister, his uh, prime minister at that time, Manmohan Singh, uh, Manmohan Singh's daughter, Amrit Kaur, works for the Open Societies Foundation. Uh, she actually works for the Open Societies Foundation, which is George Soros' own foundation. So how are we to assume that the Congress and George Soros are separate? So any link with Congress? There is more link between the Congress and the Open Societies Foundation than as in establishable, verified links between the Congress and the Open Societies Foundation through Amrit Kaur than there is between Adani and Modi. This man is nothing but damage to democracy, wherever he goes. See, his idea of democracy isn't one person, one vote. His idea of democracy is one dollar, one vote. My dollar is more important than your vote. So people shouldn't have the right to elect who they want. People should have the right to validate who he has already chosen to become your prime minister or president. He only starts talking publicly about things when he's failed. And what that means is he has tried. He's tried several times. You just go through the list of Indian entities funded by the Open Societies Foundation. And you'll find the number of tri times he's tried to regime change in India and he's failed. And the only reason he's talking about it in the open today is because his attempts at regime change have failed. It's desperation. Sir, why is George Soros doing such conspiracy against India? Uh, he's been doing it all over. You see, he what he wants is... Uh, he wants a government that is essentially manipulable and market-friendly, that conforms. People of a country don't know what's good for them. George Soros knows what's good for you. And, of course, in the process, if George Soros makes a killing through, uh, you know, uh, uh, profits in the market or whatever, that's even better. You see, he wants to bring in a rigged market with structural inefficiencies and structural flaws, which he can then short sell and exploit. There's a fundamental conflict of interest in what he does.